our entire society, in the words of Generation X, has become very DIY, do it yourself. And DIY, the interesting thing about this term is it started as an anti-consumeristic phrase, but it actually means you get to consume in the way you want. So there seems to be a strand of, of Dharma, a huge strand of Dharma, uh, where we all want to become spiritual libertarians, where we, we want to do the teachings in the way we do them. You know, my, my teacher a lot of times says, if you're going to ask a teacher for advice, you should actually do what they say. <laughs> Chances are they're going to tell you to do something you didn't want to do in some small way. That's what doing something that's good for you is, right? You have to do something that's outside of the framework of your habitual apparatus, which means it doesn't feel immediately good. So I, I always think of this conundrum of our DIY consumeristic culture, you know, especially in the uh, United States of America, which is possibly the most libertarian society on earth today in terms of freedoms is we all really proclaim our individual freedoms and the way we express these freedoms is by doing what everybody else is doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't really want to submit ourselves to a community, which is the Sangha, or a teacher, which is the Buddha principle, um, that's beyond our ability to control what feels good in the present moment. And this is one of the big dangers of the superficiality, and I don't mean superficiality in a bad way, I mean it in the surface way of internet dharma, of podcast dharma and Wikipedia dharma. So here's what I want to say, um, and there's many different interpretations. We already heard from my friend Kenneth, one model of enlightenment. There's many different interpretations of what um, the, the purpose of Buddhism is about. We heard from Kelly, the purpose is to end suffering. Um, in my tradition, uh, what we say and are saying increasingly is the purpose is to actually create a society that is awake, that encourages people to be awake. It's not, I don't think anybody would say that it's about attaining a certain state of meditative absorption or jhana or samadhi, although those are fun, uh, and those can be a tool or a method to awakening, right? But I think a lot of people think it is about that. Yeah, I know it's not really about meditation, but if I actually could do that, that's what it's about. The word enlightenment is really tricky. I find that people usually just uh, define enlightenment as whatever I'm not experiencing now, which good luck trying to attain something that you have linguistically and psychologically defined for yourself as whatever I'm not experiencing now. Um, I would like to propose that from my point of view, Buddhism is about neither of those things. It's not about enlightenment. I like to translate the term bodhi, awake, enlightened, as just sane. The whole purpose of all of these practices is to become a more sane and decent human being. And to try whatever we can in a world that's pretty quickly going uh, away from sanity uh, to spread sanity to model behaviors to other people and communities to other people um, where they can feel sanity as well. If you want to become a sane and decent human being, this is my only point, that's something you only learn from other human beings. <laughs>